Amber Heard's attorney says the actor plans to appeal the jury's decision yesterday that she defamed ex-husband Johnny Depp. But according to some legal experts, she might have to pay some of her damages first. A jury ruled Amber Heard owes Johnny Depp $10 million in compensatory damages, another $5 million in punitive damages, but the judge reduced that $5 million to $350,000 under the maximum Virginia state law. The jury also ruled that Depp owes Heard $2 million. So in total, Amber Heard owes her ex-husband $8,350,000. Her lawyer told the Today Show this morning she absolutely cannot pay that. She told NBC's Savannah Guthrie she believes the trial demonized Amber and that the jury was confused. The op-ed didn't even mention Mr. Depp by name. Uh, and so what basically they did here is demonize her. And they did, they were able to suppress the, the medical records, which were very, very significant because they showed a pattern back, going all the way back to 2012, of Amber reporting this to her therapist, for example. Heard's lawyer said she believes social media also influenced the jury. They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. And it was horrible. It, it really, really was lopsided. She said the entire trial was a zoo. NBC's legal analyst Danny Savalos is with us now. Danny, thanks. Heard's lawyer says she will appeal. What does that look like? And what happens if Heard doesn't have the money to pay? Appealing in this case, as in any case, is really a long shot. Appellate courts are loath to take away a jury's verdict in a civil case like this. And simply arguing that there was a lot of pretrial publicity or a ton of social media influence is one thing. Unless they have evidence that a specific juror or jurors were influenced and it affected the outcome, uh, this is otherwise going to be a real uphill battle on appeal if that's their only issue that they're alleging. Isn't it normal that a jury would have access to social media during a trial, or is this 10-day break going to be an issue? It could be an issue, but only if they have evidence that jurors were actually affected by it. Now, you expect that jurors honor their duty that if they feel they've encountered some information about the trial, that they have to bring it to the judge's attention. But I do get that there's a reluctance to do that because there's a fear of getting in trouble or risking the ire of the court, maybe even being held in contempt. But it is true that in modern times, uh, it is impossible to stay away from information. 30 years ago, you would have to open a newspaper or turn on the TV. But now, if you just pull open your iPhone, uh, you might just get inundated with information you didn't want. And of course, your family could mention it too, inadvertently or intentionally. But in challenging a case or a verdict based on that kind of publicity, you need some real hard evidence because courts aren't just going to say, hey, there was a lot of talk about this case. Maybe we should overturn a verdict. That's not going to happen. Right. What about this lawsuit in the U.K. that it heard actually won? It was very similar. Uh, her team is saying a lot of that evidence didn't make it into this trial. And should the jurors have known about the verdict that went her way previously? It's an interesting case study because in the U.K., it is much easier to win defamation cases for plaintiffs. So the fact that Johnny Depp was not successful there is surprising. But if it's true that evidence in that case didn't make it into this case, here in the United States, we have rules of evidence, and typically judges conduct a balancing test. Uh, if the probative value, the interesting thing about the evidence, is outweighed by prejudice, something that is just unfair, then that evidence might be kept out, even if it's relevant. So that's an interesting rule and evidence that may have kept out things like medical records that uh, Heard's attorney mentioned on the Today Show. So that's a possibility. But look, I mean, we have rules of evidence that keep out certain kinds of things. I'm sure Heard would have liked to have seen those in. That may not be a, a fertile ground for appeal because appellate courts say, hey, when it comes to evidence coming in, Trial judges, district court judges, they have a lot of discretion in the, this area, and we're not going to disturb a verdict based on something that was within their authority. Well, it's captured everybody's attention. Danny, we appreciate your analysis tonight. Thanks.